so hello students as today we will be learning about silk worm and the process by which they make silk they produce silk before starting we need to know what is sericulture sericulture we will be talking about and discussing about it in the next slides and what is the process by which the silk worm makes silk all these things are very fascinating i know and one by one you will get answers of all your questions i just want to say that the activity that you will get the activity pdf that you will get you need to write it down in your activity copy and also draw, draw the diagram that will be given in that also try to um, pay attention and listen very carefully about this video this video is all about the silk worm and how silk is taken out from silk worm let's see what is sericulture sericulture is the cultivation of silk worm to produce silk sericulture the short definition is given here so sericulture is nothing less then cultivation of silk worm means farming of silk worm and they produce silk and what is the process of silk production from silk worm the process is as follows first the silk worm will feed on the mulberry leaves pay attention kids that mulberry leaves or mulberry silk worm take up 90% of the silk worm population in the world so mulberry silk worm eat mulberry leaves then the cocoon of the silk worm is spun by the larvae themselves the larvae is the next stage where you will see the diagram you will understand where the stage of larvae comes the cocoon of the silk worm is spun by the larvae themselves they make a cocoon around them and the silk fibers are simply unraveled are simply we get it from the cocoon of the silk worm now sericulture if we explain more you can see in the picture also how the silk worm has made a cocoon and from this cocoon we take out the silk fabrics sericulture also called silk farming is the process of making silk fibers it starts by raising silk worm and then processing the fibers by uh, they produce silk fibers are combined into silk thread the thread can be then twisted into silk yarn or woven into silk cloth silk yarn is the bunch of silk fibers that are been uh, tucked together into a yarn uh, just like you have seen woolen yarn maybe your grandmother or your mother or your aunt have uh, woolen yarn at home to weave the sweaters for winter similarly they are twisted into a silk yarn so we are getting it from the cocoon silk worms cocoon so here is the diagram that you need to understand and also draw in your evs activity copy you can see the life cycle of silk worm in the picture in the diagram adult moth then it will lay eggs from eggs larva from larva cocoon and this cycle will go on and on the caterpillar the female moth lay many tiny eggs the caterpillar feed on the mulberry leaves for about 3 to 4 weeks each of them then spin a cocoon around itself and then the caterpillar changes into a pupa inside the cocoon inside the cocoon when the silk worm is there it is known as pupa and then it will change into an adult moth again after coming out from the cocoon and this cycle will go on and on from adult moth it will lay eggs from eggs it will change into larva 
then from the larva it will change into cocoon and then again into an adult moth and all these things you have to remember because these things are similar to a butterfly also but here we are getting silk from the cocoon of the adult silk of the silk moth of the silk worm so here you can see the diagram that you have to draw in your evs activity copy and also first you understand then you draw by your own imagination power you can draw it a bit more colorful also you can put up your choice of colors also in the moth but you have to draw the similar diagram that has been shown here now what is sericulture and its stages sericulture we already have learnt what is sericulture now we will learn about the stages of sericulture the life cycle of silk moth starts when a female silk moth lay eggs already we have seen this cycle in the diagram in the previous diagram the caterpillar or larva are hatched from the eggs of the silk moth the caterpillar or the larva that are hatched from where from the eggs of the silk moth the female silk moth will lay the egg from there it will hatch in the pupa stage a weave is netted around the silk worm to hold itself means the silk worm will weave around itself it will weave by its own around itself it will weave a kind of net and that net will change into the cocoon after that it swings it head spinning a fiber made of protein and becomes a silk fiber so here it will spin it heads because if it doesn't spin its head then how will it uh, get inside the cocoon so then it will spin a fiber around itself which is made up of protein and hence this will become a cocoon and from the cocoon we get the silk fiber first we have to boil the cocoon and after boiling the cocoon the farmer silk farmer take out the silk fabrics from the cocoon how long is silk worm life cycle now in your thought process also this question may arise that this life cycle goes around for how many days or how many weeks so here is the answer 6 to 8 weeks the total life cycle of a silk worm ranges from 6 to 8 weeks generally the warmer the weather the quicker the silk worm will complete its life cycle so to complete the life cycle of a silk worm we need a warm weather in warm weather they eat the mulberry leaves very nicely because these leaves are available in the warm weathers only and then it can make the cocoon very easily from where we get the silk however other factors such as humidity and exposure to sunlight are also very important in the life cycle of a silk worm so silk worm like the warmer more humid temperatures to complete its life cycle now the next question that may arise in your head while watching this video is which is the most active stage of life cycle of silk worm silk worm go through four stages that you already have seen in the diagram four stages of development as do most insect most insect also go through this four stages of development that is egg larva pupa and adult you already have seen maybe the mosquito's life cycle or the butterfly or the honey bee life cycle that already you have done in your evs class the adult stage is the silk worm moth the ad- when the silk worm is in moth state it is the adult stage of it the larva is the silk worm caterpillar when we say larva it is the silk worm caterpillar 
since the silkworm that is the larva stage grows so much that they must shed their skin four times while growing can you imagine they shed their skin four times while they are growing from a egg to a full grown uh, moth silk moth adult silk moth so here is the four main active stages of a life of a silk worm and these stages are equally important for silk worm and also for the honey bees and other insect the other insect that we have no and you already have read about honey bees are similar to this four stages now you are going to see few pictures of silk farming how they are farmed in a proper commercial farming commercial farming means when the silk is being farmed on a, a regular basis to sell it in the market so here you will see few pictures where the farmers are farming the silk and how they are getting it from the silkworm like here you can see the cocoons of the silkworm and then the fibers or the fabric of the silk will be taken out from this cocoons so enjoy the video enjoy the picture and also try to learn from them